Jay. Well, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good. I was wondering if I could ask you a quick question. Okay. I wanted to know a little bit more about rear hydraulics. Okay. A uh, picture's worth a thousand words, so let's go for a walk. So, uh, rear, rear hydraulics. Uh, hydraulics are, are an extension of the tractor's power. So most people uh, buy a tractor, they buy it to use three-point hitch, or they buy it to use a draw bar to pull something. But the fascinating thing too is, is that you can also use it to pick up uh, like a bat wing mower like this is, uh, and, and stuff like that, a backhoe. So there's a lot of purposes as far as the hydraulics are concerned. So if I was looking for hydraulics, the first thing you want to know is they're called rear hydraulics and a standard hydraulics has two hookups. Has two hookups. That's the standard. On this tractor here, you can stack two more on top of it so you could have a possible of six hookups up here so to do different things. So what if my hydraulics don't seem to be working? Okay, uh, that's a common uh, factor in a lot of tractors because of fluid. Uh, so first thing I would do is I would check my fluid level and if you would see that the fluid is so clear but when you put it on your finger you can see that it leaves a mark so this tractor is full of fluid. It does have a fluid feel to that point there. The second thing I would do is disconnect and reconnect my hose. To disconnect the hose you just simply push the collar in and pull the hose out. When you pull it out you'll notice that it does drip. That is agricultural style it does drip and so therefore it does lose a little bit of oil but that one drip is minute compared to the gallons of oil that's in it. I would also then hook it right back up and I would see if it went in there and hooked it up. Then of course I would get on the tractor, try it again. The, the third thing I would do is I would go to my hydraulic filter underneath the tractor and I would check to make sure that the O-ring is still in place, there's no fluid being lost around the filter and stuff like that. If I wanted to, I might even replace my filter at that point in time just to see if my fluid uh, level is clean and everything is clear, no air bubbles in it and stuff like that is what I would look at. At that point, if it's still not working, um, my only suggestion would be is to contact us. Uh, we have an excellent sale, service team. Uh, we have five technicians in our shop, all very knowledgeable, that can help you uh, with your situation.